responsible should bartenders be for what their customers do when they walk out of the bar? One bartender in Plano served alcohol to a man who went on to kill his estranged wife and seven of her closest friends. More than a year and a half later, police arrested that bartender and Lindsey Glass's lawyer spoke for the first time this afternoon to our David Goins. David, what did they tell you? Yeah, Chris, her attorneys say this is simply an example of Plano police trying to hold someone accountable for the horrific actions of another person. And we know those horrific facts well. Spencer Height in September 2017 barged into his estranged wife's home while she hosted a Cowboys watch party. He shot and killed Meredith Lane and seven other friends, some he'd known for years. But attention last summer shifted to the bar that Height was at in the hours and minutes leading up to the shooting. A TABC report found that the bartender at the local public house knowingly served Height alcohol, even though he was visibly intoxicated. And text messages showed that Glass, the bartender, believed that Height was drunk and even mentioned he was displaying a knife in the bar also against state law. Today, one week after her arrest, her attorneys say Plano detectives are trying to blame a bartender for the worst mass shooting in the city's history. If we start charging bartenders for doing their job in terms of serving people who you or I think, oh, well, I saw him stumble or I saw him, you know, slip a little bit or I saw him in the bathroom and, and I think that they're intoxicated, that's a very dangerous precedent. We should also point out the mother of Meredith Lane uh, has Heights a strange wife told WFA that, that she doesn't think that criminally charging the bartender is the right way to go here and saying the only person responsible for what happened back in September of 2017 was Spencer Height. We're in the newsroom. Back to you. All right. Thank you very much, David.